So in our past two videos, we have uh, tested, built, and um, displayed the parts for a uh, gaming computer that I'm building. You can see it's right next to us here, uh, RS1, Roman System 1, as I call it. Um, funny story where I got the name, but um, this is the third video, third and last video so far. We are going to be installing Windows 10, setting up a RAID array for the drives, not in that order. Um, you can see at the bottom of the screen, disk boot failure, insert system disk and press enter. Um, we're not going to be doing that. Let me reach above the system to turn it off. And then we're going to be hitting the button again. Hands on the keyboard. You can see, hit Control I, and we are in the RAID utility. Uh, so when it starts up, that comes up, and there you go. So you can see uh, intro, Intel Matrix Storage Manager Option ROM V7.5.0 1017. I think that says I can't read it too well from here. ICH9R W RAID 5 copyright 2003 to, through 2007 Intel Corporation all rights reserved at the top there. Uh, this is a RAID configuration utility. Um, from I'm sure you guys understand that. So at the top we have four options. We have create RAID volume, delete RAID volume, reset disks to non-RAID and exit. Um, and at the bottom, no volumes, um, no RAID arrays set up. And then two disks, um, both identical, um, that are not in a RAID configuration. So we're going to go ahead and select Create RAID Volume. Um, let's call this, um, I'll just call it, actually, so Roman System 1 array. Um, RAID 0, we want RAID 0. Um, uh, no option to select disks. I guess it's because I only have two disks in the system. So um, let's keep it at a 128 gig or a 128 kilobyte uh, slice or stripe. Sorry, um, capacity. Let's leave it at that because that's the maximum we're gonna get. And then create volume. So warning: all data on selected disks will be lost. That's fine. Nothing's on these. Are you sure you want to create this volume? Yes, I do want to create this volume. So you can see um, at the bottom section, um, RAID 0, um, RS1 array, RAID 0, Stripe. Actually, no, the RAID ID is 0. Um, no, the ID is 0. Name is RS1 array. Level, so RAID level is RAID 0. That's a Stripe. Um, <clears throat> the strip is 128 kilobytes. The total um, volume size is 931.5 gigabytes. Status normal, bootable, yes. We do want it to be bootable. So um, let's hit escape because we are done with that now. And you can see disk boot failure, insert system disk and press enter. So that's what we're going to do now. We look up at the optical drive there. God, that lighting is terrible. I need to get a better camera. My iPhone camera is pretty bad now. So right here, we have Windows 10 64-bit. We're just going to drop that in the drive. Close the tray, hit return again. I 
as it reads the disk. And I will continue the video once we're in a uh, installer. So we're finally in the uh, OS, we're in the installer rather. Um, something interesting that happened was it got past the uh, Windows screen, but before the window, the loading, stupid looking spinny thing started, yes I am not a big fan of Windows, as you can probably tell I use a lot of Macs, because that's what all my videos are on basically. Um, but you can see we have Windows here, um, and basically before it got to this stage, um, I got that cursor at the top of the screen, but going down the screen were white like lines, and the whole screen was orange. So I thought the graphics card was died, or the graphics card died because, as I've said a couple times already, the uh, graphics card is, was presumed broken when I got it. So um, you can see English. English, a lot of different English, but it is Windows 10 English as you saw on the disk. I guess it's not fully English, but um, we're gonna select next and install now because this is a um, homemade install disk. I don't uh, install disk. I don't need a product key from what I understand. So let's just wait. System's pretty quiet without the optical drives spinning. So I was wrong. Need a product key. I don't have a product key. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro? We're gonna go with Windows 10 Pro. Yes, I, I've read the whole thing too, by the way. No, I haven't. All right. Um, yeah, so let's zoom in on that. We're gonna go with custom install. So you can see uh, drive zero unallocated space, 931 and a half gigs. If you remember back in the RAID setup, 931 was the volume size of this disk after being formatted. Um, so yeah, we're gonna install on that. Installing Windows, status, copying Windows files, 0%. So I'll continue the video when it's fully installed.
So I went up to 9 Linus Tech Tips recommends it, so I uh, figured I'd try it. Uh, pretty nice utility. Um, you can see I have uh, Google Chrome, Steam, TeamViewer, Skype, GIMP, uh, LibreOffice, QuickTime, and Eclipse installed. Um, I changed the, um, I don't know what just happened there, but I, I changed the name of the system to my computer or the name of the, this PC shortcut to my computer. And one last thing to do, I'm going to drag our local disk, hit return. Um, that's enter actually, but I call it return. That's what you do on Macs, never mind. Um, I'm going to right click it and rename it to Roman HD. So it's like Macintosh HD, but you know, Roman HD. Put it up in the corner where OS X, or, yeah, OS X has it. <coughs> and there you go. So my computer, recycle bin next to it, across the screen is Roman HD for Roman systems, blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying because I dubbed the system Roman System 1. Uh, Google Chrome, Steam, TeamViewer 11, Skype, GIMP 2, LibreOffice 5, QuickTime, and Eclipse are installed. Um, my display drivers are installed as well, so I just have to restart it. But I am going to um, shut down the system. Um, so um, thanks for watching. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the series, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, RS1, the Socket 775 build is finished, and everything is um, good with this machine. So, also eventually, um, like I think I've said, I'm going to go with a Core 2 Duo in this build. I'm going to go with like a 6870 graphics card or something, some kind of cheap SSD if I can find one. I'm going to put, um, what else? Um maybe 8 gigs of RAM in here, depending on what I can find. And also, I may water cool this. Um, I've always kind of liked the idea of some kind of ghetto cooling system made of like cheap off-the-shelf water cooling components, um, having a radiator sticking out the back of the system, um, one of those like bay reservoirs or like the T-virus reservoirs or something like that. That would be really cool, I think. So I might water cool this. Don't look forward to that because it probably won't happen, um, especially until after I get the upgrades. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. That's going to be it for the series. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video, which will be uh, the video where we uh, set up my new computer setup.